In the 1990s, the Chinese government's crackdown on Uyghur's cultural and religious identity escalated, resulting in two significant protests by Uyghurs. The demonstration in Baran Township in April 1990 initially began as peaceful protests by Uyghurs, but escalated into violence when clashes broke out between the demonstrators and the Chinese security forces. 16 Uyghurs were killed and six others were severely wounded. In early 1997, in Ghulja, there was another peaceful demonstration by Uyghur residents. Protesters called for greater autonomy, religious freedom, and an end to cultural assimilation. As the demonstrations gained momentum, the Chinese government declared martial law and deployed security forces, including the People's Liberation Army and police to suppress the protests. On February 5, 1997, security forces opened fire on a large crowd of Uyghur protesters, when gathered in Wuja Central Square. It was reported that the Chinese security forces used live ammunition and tear gas to disperse the demonstrators. This crackdown resulted in hundreds of deaths and injuries among the protesters. Following the violent suppression, Chinese authorities arrested thousands of Uyghurs suspected of involvement in the protests and sentenced hundreds of them to death. After the 9-11 terrorist attacks in the United States in 2001, the Chinese government seized the opportunity to frame its suppression of Uyghur dissent and activism as part of the global war on terror. China categorized Uyghur separatist movements and expressions of Uyghur identity as forms of terrorism and extremism. The Chinese government implemented a series of repressive policies under the guise of counter-terrorism efforts. This included increased surveillance, security checkpoints, restrictions on religious practices, and the mass detention of Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims in internment camps. The Chinese government justified these measures as necessary for maintaining social stability and combating extremism. However, human rights organizations and Uyghur advocacy groups have criticized these policies, arguing that they disproportionately target the Uyghur population and result in widespread human rights abuses, including arbitrary detention, forced labor, cultural assimilation, and violations of religious freedom. On July 5, 2009, in Urumqi, the capital of East Turkestan, a peaceful protest by Uyghur University students was organized to express grievances over a violent incident that had taken place in a factory in southern China, where several Uyghur workers were killed. The Chinese authorities responded to the protest by deploying large numbers of armed police and military personnel to gain control, which resulted in a significant loss of life and injuries. As a result, the protests escalated into violent clashes between Uyghur and Chinese residents. Official Chinese government reports stated that 197 people were killed, while over 1,700 others were injured. However, independent sources and Uyghur advocacy groups have suggested that the actual death toll may have been at least several thousand, and that Uyghurs were disproportionately targeted. After the Urumqi massacre, the Chinese government implemented a massive security crackdown in East Turkestan leading to increased surveillance, restrictions on religious practices, and arrests of Uyghur activists and intellectuals. Such policies further heightened ethnic tensions and deepened the divide between Uyghurs and Chinese. Yet the Chinese government further strengthened its suppression of Uyghur cultural and religious practices in the following years. In 2014, 3,000 to 5,000 people in Yarkent Township in southern East Turkestan were brutally massacred by Chinese occupation forces. In the same year, the Chinese government started to implement new measures restricting the use of the Uyghur language in education and public spaces. In 2015, China passed a controversial counter-terrorism law to further legitimize its suppression of expressions of Turkic and Islamic identity in East Turkestan. By 2016, the Chinese government had already established a network of internment camps in East Turkestan, where Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims would be subjected to arbitrary detention, forced labor, torture, and political indoctrination.